Phronema is a transliteration of the Greek word phronema, which has the meanings of mind, spirit, thought, purpose, will, and can have either a positive meaning, high spirit, resolution, pride, or a bad sense, presumption, arrogance. In the New Testament, the word is used four times in the St. Paul's letter to the Romans, twice with te sarcos of the flesh and twice with tu pneumatos of the spirit. For the mind of the flesh is death, and the mind of the spirit, life and peace, because the mind of the flesh is enmity to God. And he who is searching the hearts hath known what is the mind of the spirit. Romans chapter 8 verses 6 to 7, 27. Eastern Orthodox theology The term phronema is used in Eastern Orthodox theology to one particular mindset or outlook, the Orthodox mind. The attaining of phronema in this sense is a matter of practicing the correct faith orthodoxia in the correct manner orthopraxis. Attaining phronema is regarded as the first step toward theosis, the state of glorification. Two, Phronema is also the name of the official annual review of St. Andrew's Greek Orthodox Theological College, Sydney, Australia. It presents articles and book reviews from Orthodox and non-Orthodox on topics with central reference to theology, church history and Orthodoxy. Use by John Henry Newman The term was used in by John Henry Newman in an article published in 1859 under the title, On Consulting the Faithful in Matters of Doctrine. He said that the consensus of the faithful is to be regarded as a sort of instinct, or phronema, deep in the bosom of the mystical body of Christ. <laughs> Use by Ernst Haeckel The term was used in by Ernst Haeckel in his book The Wonders of Life where p. 342 the phronema is the name given to a part of the cortex, as the real organ of mind. See also Hesychasm Praxis Orthodox Theoria Theosis Eastern Orthodox Theology People Alexander Schmemann George Florovsky John Mayendorf Vladimir Lasky